going through the cards. And I think but yo, verdict, you can get your ass beat for three rounds and you can still smash win. somebody in that ten seconds. So <laughs> and in verdict. Win. So we'll go we'll we'll deter to verdict, which is the people. <laughs> the global people. But the people They gave uh, Mike the first two rounds before the stoppage. Yeah, I mean, yeah. That so so that's that's the point. Like, give him t- the tw- you're just. I feel like the twelve seconds. Just give him if it's like a minute left, then that's not close enough for me to just be like, hey, let's let's yeah. chill out. But twelve seconds. <laughs> Here's the thing: is they were unanswered. Most of them like doing this. It's yeah, not really an answer. Um, Schneef, <laughs> <laughs> please Help. stop, stop, Help please. <laughs> um, I think it was a good a good stoppage. Could he have lasted like as a human being the twelve seconds yeah. and been fine? Yeah, but um, I think Magni he he took it, the thing that was so perfect about what Magni did is when he had him up, and he was wrapped up in him in the in the in the the fucking guillotine or whatever. When he slammed him down, he paused and it shook him off. If he had mm. gone to the ground with him, I think it would have locked in. Mm. But when he shook him off and then he got on top of him, he started hitting him, finishing sequence, whatever. That's what won him the fight. Yeah. And I think if he had gone the twelve seconds, it may not have been scored that way, and that would have sucked. The scrambles they had on the ground were super cool, though. It's crazy that he can be that long and lanky and get up like that. Like it's hard to move their legs, like to to to, to yeah, get that in the hips. In. Yeah, because there's yeah. so much fucking leg, dude. Yeah, like the, for me, I'm kind of stumpy, yeah. so I can kind of just you <laughs> yeah. know. But as, if your as, your wingspan is all the way to that chair over there, then you're kind of fucked. As as a fucking mutant human being myself, it it like getting tight. Like in jujitsu, like whatever, it's it's harder. It's hard. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. When when my coach is going, get your foot on his hip. I'm like, motherfucker, I'm trying. <laughs> it's like you just look at your coach. You're like, I'm it's, literally, I'm, I'm trying. trying. One <laughs> bad knees. Two, I'm, I'm fucking trying. <laughs> Are they telling you, uh-huh. like, fuck it, you gotta hit him? <laughs> really? I'm trying. <laughs> um, here are some really cool stats. Even though the fight was kind of a stinker, the co-main event, Raquel Pennington. Oh, uh, dude, I got a lot to say. I got so a grievance like, about this. Sean Strickland's got a huge grievance with this. Um. <laughs> Raquel, 265 total strikes Mm -hmm. (laughs) to Silva's 96. Um, Significant strikes for Raquel, 134 to Silva's 69. Hell yeah. And the takedown scenario thing, I I just don't care about only because it was just a mess the whole time. She got one out of three takedowns and Silva got three out of nine. Silva's clinch work with the elbows was good. If she had kept that up... Good defensively on both sides. It was just fucking. I disagree on that one. It for was Rocky. just. Well, I'm gonna. So I'm not gonna say clinch, but the control of how both of them were fighting, and it was kind of a back and forth. That it was kind of a standstill. It was a perfect example of why like Styles make fights and whatever. They're just. I just think it was a bad matchup, and it showed. But Raquel, I I, I put all my chips on Raquel anyway. And um, yeah, no, I had her to win too. Yeah, I just didn't see enough from Silva in the past to be like, I don't know why she's she got a title shot because the division isn't steep at all. You can get fight twice in a female division for a bantamweight specifically, no. or featherweight if it's still a thing, yeah. and get a title shot. Well, yeah, but it's just got to fill out. Like that's just yeah. comes and goes with the, with the people that they're pulling in. I'm sure they're looking for 135ers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, but my dude, my grievance with the fucking with with Raquel, um. Mostly, Silva. no. With Raquel, mostly is when she was being she had her wrist control yep. in the fucking clinch. All she had to do was turn the fuck around. They just turn into her, and they yeah. were slippery enough that it could have happened. The legs weren't wrapped up half the fucking time. It was just like I don't know if it was like lack of actual clinch training, and it's just MMA Something. clinch as Something opposed to missing, clinch. Yeah, yeah, because like it was really. It, the whole time, the whole time they went into that position, and they went into it multiple times, all she had to do was turn the opposite way. And that's like a very basic day one yeah. thing. That, yeah. Well, not day one thing, but a very basic clinch, whether it's MMA or Muay Thai clinch. Like, just do, get, you don't give them your back. Yeah. You know? And she it was, was get, like, it was like shoulder back. And she was yeah. like, just turn, dude. It was weird because, like, it wasn't even a scenario of, like, her Silva's legs doing more work, too, to, like, hold her still. No. It's like they were just kind of standing next to each other. And she was just there. And, like, yeah, obviously they're tired, and we're talking shit here from our couch. Like, you know, but it, it, seeing, the, like, it was just, they both need to clinch 
they both need to go to a clinch class. Um, but but Silva's elbows were getting through. Like she had yeah. snappy elbows off the break. Um, I thought her her strikes looked a little better until Rocky opened up, and then yeah. her her strikes were were definitely better. Uh, let's get this on record now. Pena beats the shit out of Pennington all day. I, all honestly, day. As much as I hate mm. hate her, she wins that <laughs> she wins that fight, and I, and yeah. it pains me to say it because I do like Rocky. That's not the best performance I've seen her. Yeah, seen her do because I've seen her beat the fucking brakes off of people. In the I past. have too. Yeah, I have too. And um, I've been watching her for a very long time since like Ultimate Fighter days. That's where she came so I came about. And Dana said the same thing on that show. He was like, as soon as you learn to just let your fucking hands go. You're gonna be a problem, yeah. and when she does, she's she can a no, problem. she can smash. She hits so hard. She's a little tight. She's got it's kind of like robotic a little bit, but I um, just feel like Rocky didn't do. She still got the win, so whatever. But she just didn't do what Rocky does. Well, and, now she's just got to prove it while getting paid way more to prove it. <laughs> yeah. However, <laughs> I just with what we saw with grappling exchanges and clinches. Mm. Yeah, you're right. She doesn't she doesn't want Especially fight. in grappling. She doesn't like win look, that fight. you might not like Peña for whatever reason or you think that her striking isn't whatever. Peña on the ground is a fucking problem. Yeah, she can a fucking problem. Yeah. And her That's how she wins her fights mostly. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But she'll bang you to death until then. And yeah. that's like that Mexican boxing style. Yeah. Like you me. think it like <laughs> it looks kind of like man that kind of sucks but it doesn't it gets through yeah. she's deceptively long mm-hmm. she's a dog and if she gets you on the ground very few people are gonna have like if you're not nunez problem you yeah. know what i mean like yeah and uh i would like to see nunez pena three i really would I, I yeah would, you know um it's probably I think not that happen, fight should have happened before she retired but it is what it is i think it's a good reason to come back if pena gets the belt back ufc 300 it wouldn't be 300, but you know what I mean. Right, yeah. That's Speaking a fight of, I'm... Izzy is going to fight Duplessis at 300, obviously. I this is don't I don't know why so. this fuck... Dude, yes, it is. I don't think so. Because <sighs> he kept on talking about how he wants some time off. And yeah, he... until the fucking South African warlord became took his belt. That I mean, it's a perfect fight to make. I think that's the fight that makes sense to make. But at the same time, it's like, does, does um, Izzy and Sean fight again to... To get the fight with, Duplessis? no, the champ called him out. He can just fight him. Yeah, That's, I, it's weird. I just it's, hate when people fight for titles off of a loss. I get that, but Izzy is not an average fighter right. or loss. He deserves an instant rematch when he loses, just because of what he's done. He's yeah. proven that to be yeah. the case. I don't think Sean should get an instant rematch, but it was also one of those things where the internet is blowing up, thinking Sean won that fight. I don't. I don't know. I, which we'll get to next because that's the actual stats that, um, yeah. that is the reason why people are are flipping out. So I'll just read them off. Sean's one eighty three to Drake is one forty. Significant strikes one seventy three to his one thirty seven. But the takedowns is what made the difference on the scorecards. I think because obviously no, it made Sean, the difference. Is Sean was on his back foot the whole fight. So Sean didn't. Get obviously he didn't get any takedowns. He didn't really shoot any, and Drake has got six out of eleven attempts. Okay, but that dude taking somebody down when you can do no damage with it shouldn't even be scored like that. It, it should be like it should be looked does. at as like a failed move. It shouldn't, but it does because for some reason the judge. We all know the judges are fucking. They suck. There's only maybe like no. Two. If the takedown matters, then score it correctly. Yeah, sure, but it's not. But like Sean kept getting down. up. No, he didn't, he he didn't stay down. on the ground for more than 15 seconds. Yeah. Any time he scored the takedown, but he did nothing with it. I think should negate the the score of getting credit for that takedown. I disagree with the internet. I think if Duplessis didn't win, I'm confident in saying it was a draw. Yeah. Beca- and the reason I say that is the reason Duplessis won is his forward pressure combined with his shots because they both got damaged they both got bloody and they both looked a little shitty but duplessis shot felt or sounded rather harder mm-hmm. and more damaging sean with that jab perfect jab but he was on the back foot the whole time and he looked timid i mm-hmm. said that last night he looked like he wasn't ready to uncork or just couldn't find an opening too yeah and optically when you're both pretty damaged, the person throwing the harder shots is probably going to get the nod. Yeah. And that's, so that's what I think. the first and foremost thing on a scorecard is damage. That's and it was fairly even. Thing. And actually, and Duplessis fairly, looked worse. Dupl- that's what I'm saying. Duplessis did look worse. However, by the end of the fight, Sean definitely looked worse because of all the blood. 
but the blood doesn't paint the picture, right? Yeah, but it they're not looking worse. at them afterwards. It once, just looks worse. Once they're cleaned up, they've already made the decision. Once they're cleaned up, Drickus by far looks yeah. like he took way that more jab, damage. That jab, that was the story of the jab. That jab was fucked up. And that's a yeah. perfect, per, dude, I'm a fan of the Philly shell, and Sean Strickland is the, the last true believer. <laughs> like, it's a jab from the down here MMA. is so hard to see. Yeah. I've. Ask, ask so, Steve Walker. It's it's really yeah. hard to see. So this is the thing that I brought up about the Izzy fight too, that can translate to this one. Was Izzy off his game? Because I rewatched that fight and he wasn't not doing Izzy things. Sean just made it difficult for him. So it wasn't that Izzy was off that night. It was that Sean was just very on that night, or he just his style was very hard for Izzy to handle because he wasn't used to that that like boxing kind of style he's used to like if you would think about it he's actually used to fighting a lot of a lot of uh, like grapplers but was sean timid last night or was Drickus just that person to make him look like he was off he looked timid to me it like in his walkout when he got in the cage he wasn't excited he didn't like when he got up off the stool or when he got out of his corner he didn't like he wasn't like oh, he wasn't sean you know what i mean He's never he's been like that lately. Even with the Izzy no, fight, I know he he's was kind of just like, oh, I'm here. I know he's stoic. I know that, but it was a different kind of stoic. Maybe he wasn't him, and I don't know. Maybe he just wanted to play the his first title defense safe. He's you know he's beating him on the the strikes like point wise, and he thought it was going to go his way. I just I don't know. But as far as um, Izzy, I said it to you last time. I think Izzy has been on the downhill. Since fucking Tittygate, since his fucking since Tittygate, <laughs> yeah, since his fucking nip, he's since not he getting got spectacular gyne. knockouts anymore. He got what happened is he got gyno, 